G'day, it's Josh Jamelli here from Farming Ahead magazine, and uh, we're in one of my favourite places uh, in the world, uh, Hare and Forbes Machinery Warehouse. It's where I like to do most of my shopping. Anyway, today I thought we'd, uh, I suppose, step up the kind of things that you can do in your farm or home workshop. In terms of mechanical repairs, there's really nothing that adds more capacity to what you're doing than a metal lathe. So what we thought we'd do is talk about some of the things to look for and uh, some of the features and uh, optional extras that you might be able to get when you're buying a metal lathe. Lathes come in a quite a wide variety of sizes, so the key is trying to choose what's appropriate for you and also, I suppose, what fits the budget. Cheap, usually small, expensive, usually large. It does help to try and get in some extra capacity, so you know, potentially buying something a little bit larger uh, than you think you might need. The main measurements when looking at a lathe is the distance between centres and the centre height. So lathes are often categorised by a number 300 by 900. Now in this case, 900 between centres, so that's the basic length of something that you can turn between centres on the lathe, and the spindle height on this one, 150 millimetres, or turning something of a diameter of 300 millimetres. So that's where your 300 by 900 comes in. Now the headstock spindle of the lathe has a little trick up its sleeve. It's got a hole through the middle. So you can actually turn something longer than between centres by simply poking it through the hole in the headstock and gripping it with a chuck. Uh, one of the little tricks that the lathe has. But that bore there has to be of a sufficient size for what you're turning. When you're turning something between centres, generally speaking, you're gripping it with a chuck and it sits between the chuck and a uh, centre that sits in there in a the tailstock. But you can turn things longer. Like with the headstock bore, a lathe has a capacity to turn longer things than its actual length. That's where these things come in. These are steadies. You use this in place of the tailstock to grip a long object that can actually hang off the back end of the lathe. You adjust up these followers to the work runs true. This steady here is called the travelling steady. So fixed steady, travelling steady. This one actually travels with the carriage and that's for turning uh, overly slender items that would otherwise deflect uh, when, you, um, when you apply pressure with the tool.